Hey yo, what's going on with the viewers of the tube? Tyler here of Chico Crypto coming to you not live, um, not in my studio, but out in nature, aka just my backyard once again. How's everybody's Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday today, almost the weekend. And um, yeah, I'm doing another candid video for you guys. Tomorrow I have that altcoin video fully produced, um, three altcoins maybe a little bit more that I'm bullish on. Um, but even though the markets aren't doing that good right now, like I said um, in yesterday's video, <laughs> that pump was probably a trap. And um, that's kind of the reality of the situation is kind of happening right now. So as you can see, the title of this video is um, Bitcoin's next move is going to decide everything. Are we going to be bearish or bullish for 2022? Um, no one really knows, you know. Um, a lot of people are trying to say, say that they know. And um, when the general consensus of, you know, a lot of influencers, some of the big traders in the space is we're going up. Usually Bitcoin does the complete opposite. So um, I respect a lot of these people too. A few of them I do not respect one bit, but people like Plan B. Um, I respect him, his S2F model, you know, was pretty dang, um, has been pretty dang accurate. And then he predicted some of the prices for 20, uh, 21 pretty spot on but he is thinking we're going up then there's will clement he thinks we're going up willie woo he thinks we're going up um suzu he, they think we're all going up and um the big thing we got to understand the reason they think we're going up these influencers hedge fund managers whatever you want to call them um is because of leverage trading they have a feeling that a big old short squeeze is coming um they think a lot of people shorted at like around 40k and the, they're you know covering their positions right now they thought we were going to go lower i don't think in my personal opinion many people were shorting at 40k i have a feeling that more people were actually probably longing um because yeah i mean we've we bounced pretty hard off of that and any bounce you know some of these large traders they're going to be like all right we're going right back up <clears throat> so they have a feeling they're saying this 40k level is like the 30k level we hit back in august personally you guys i think we may be retesting um 30k once again it's highly possible that that happens um because there are a lot of longs that were set up in that 30 to 40k level and clearing out those longs is exactly what some of these large entities want to do um although it's not necessarily all bad you guys um there is some good things coming out fidelity just put out a report in which they said that you know countries besides you know some of these smaller countries like el salvador may be deciding to put bitcoin you know on their balance sheets and they predicted you know that even a central bank might be putting bitcoin on their balance sheet this year oh look who it is hey kitty wayne how do i get you hey kitty wayne can you believe that? Kitty Wayne just came to say hi. I love Kitty Wayne. I hope you guys do too. Um, but yeah, you guys, so Fidelity is actually, you know, predicting that it's possible that um, countries and a central bank could be putting Bitcoin on its balance sheets. So I do um, personally agree with that. I've said that before, that eventually bitcoin is going to become a reserve currency it's i mean it's the first world currency that's not controlled by one entity i mean if we're going to have a world currency you need it not be controlled by one country so i've been predicting that eventually normal i mean i don't see normal people transacting with bitcoin you know in the future i have a feeling that large countries are going to be the ones transacting with bitcoin um deals between countries big bond programs are going to be done through bitcoin and if you guys didn't know too el salvador was one of the first you know countries out there to release bitcoin law um 
re release Bitcoin as legal tender, and they are going to be one of the first ones to be doing a Bitcoin bond program. So it's already happening um, out there. So again, you guys, I think uh, large countries eventually will, but some things are going to have like, okay, yeah, El Salvador, maybe some other smaller, you know, third world countries are going to do this. But for a large, you know, first world, large industrial power to put Bitcoin on their balance sheets, they're going to have, some things in Bitcoin markets are going to have to change. I mean, like I've said this a hundred, I mean, I million times, I know some people are getting extremely sick of it. Um, tether, Tether. I mean, Tether is going to have to change. Uh, something with Tether is going to have to happen. Tether is either going to have to do what they've been told to do and release a full audit to make sure they have whatever it is now, $60 billion um, backing their asset, or they're going to have to go away. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I have a feeling the crypto markets, including Bitcoin are manipulated by Tether. Um, Tether isn't probably backed by $60 billion. Uh, if Tether did have that amount, it would be like one of the largest, you know, cash entities out there. There's some, you know, funds out there that don't even have that much money. And if they do have that much money, they have, you know, hundreds of thousands of people working for them to manage that. Tether only has like 10 employees. So of course, if countries, a larger country is going to be putting Bitcoin on their balance sheet, Tether is going to have to either a test, well not a test, do a full audit, or they're gonna have to go kapow. Um, I've been saying it, I think Tether is gonna be the what pops the Bitcoin bubble. Bitcoin is going to go fast down in my opinion um, Binance Tether I mean the two are ingrained they Tether is basically the blood of the crypto markets and Binance is the heart it pumps te Tether through 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 I mean if you look at the Tether rich list Binance is of course the largest holder and that's only from one of their wallets they have so many other wallets with Tether um, so both of those in my opinion are going to be what pops the this Bitcoin bubble and we go quickly down i mean it's possible bitcoin even goes below 20k again um down to like the 10k level maybe even lower if those two go out but bitcoin will rise like a phoenix from the ashes hey there's kitty wayne again um and bitcoin will you know do what it's destined to do become the decentralized currency for this world but again you guys it's gonna have to be bitcoin um tether blowing up um for Bitcoin to do what it's destined to do. Uh, yeah, but now let's talk a little bit about some altcoins. There are some good stuff going on in the space. Of course, I have my altcoin video coming tomorrow, but um, uh, Polkadot. Polkadot has released, um, of course, the parachain auctions. Those have been going on, but one of the first tokens is launched on Polkadot, and that is Moon River, uh, Moonbeam, actually, not Moon River. Moon River is on Kusama. Moonbeam, it's GLMR is the token symbol, and this is big for Polkadot because this means, you know, a lot of the Ethereum DeFi applications are going to be able to be deployed on Polkadot. And Polkadot's going to be able to prove its, you know, scalability for some of these applications. So I'm super excited to see some of the DeFi um, D apps that deploy on uh, Moonbeam because that's going to be coming very soon. So everyone knows I'm a big fan of Polkadot and Kusama and actually... If you know who Donnie Big Bags is, his Moonsama um, NFT made it first. Season one is launching tomorrow, you guys. Um, it is limited to only 200 players. You need to um, either hold a Moonsama NFT or you need to um, have a VIP pass to get into it. Um, there might be a way you can figure out how to get in, but it's gonna be exciting. They've built a uh, multiverse bridge. So some of the land plots within their um, Minecraft metaverse are going to be actually backed by, you know, the blockchain and NFTs. So that's very exciting, you guys. Um, again, um, this move, this next move for um, Bitcoin, it's massive. Uh, what's going to happen? I don't know, you guys. But tune in tomorrow. I'm coming to you guys from the studio, and I'll talk to you guys then.
have a good um thursday friday wherever you friday maybe <laughs> all right guys see you next time